What's going on guys, it's Eric here again from Dose of VT bringing you guys another video. Obviously I have the Oculus Go here. So I'm going to basically show you setting it up, how it works, and like all that good stuff. So obviously you're going to need your phone. So I'm going to sign in basically into Oculus Go. There's the app that you download completely free to download. So basically it's going to take you through the tutorial on how to start it. It says welcome to Oculus. Don't have a headset, explore headsets, just explore the app. So I'm going to hit start now. Then it says press and hold the power button until the status light turns on. Alright, let's, so, let's see if I can do this and show you guys at the same time. Oh, maybe we need power. Alright, now, now it, it is on. Alright, so press and hold until you see. Okay. Plug your Oculus Go. Alright, I guess I gotta plug it in. So, let me get the charging cable here. I'm gonna plug this sucker in and see how well it will work. So basically I haven't messed around with this too much, obviously because I touched it up, but like first impressions, really, really, really nice. I like everything about it so far. It's nice and clean. Like there I don't have any complaints with what is uh, going on with this thing. It is decently heavy ish. I mean it's not like severely heavy to where it's gonna hurt your face, but it has some weight to it obviously text message but so now let's see here I have it plugged in obviously it's showing me a different light color let's enable Bluetooth so let's go to Bluetooth we're gonna turn that on obviously it's gonna pop up here soon hopefully pop up on me or not. So this is the first time that I've turned this on, so basically wait for it to search. And we'll see what happens. I don't know why it's taking so long. This is really weird. But this is what happens when you do something for the first time and you don't wait it out. Let's see if it finds it. Alright, Oculus Go found. Serial number. Where can I find the serial number? Alright, continue. Pairing your headset. So now I just gotta wait and see. Searching for Wi Fi networks. Yes, I want that one. Alright, let me type my password in here real quick. Hopefully I spell everything correctly. Alright, I got it all typed in, so hopefully that's the right password. If it's not, ooh, it is. Alright, battery's already in the controller. Already did that. Which hand do you want to use? We're going to go left hand. Obviously if you're right handed, go right handed. I'm more left handed. Um, we can skip that. I don't want to put that on there. Other options you can freely customize your go here. Use customize with glasses. Had to attach the land and a controller. Not too worried about that. Now you have your walkthrough. So basically, you just gotta listen to all these videos. Let's see if I can turn it sideways so it goes full screen. Nope. So, basically, I guess I have to watch all these videos. I think I'm on the second one right now. I think. Because the first one's highlighted, the second one's highlighted. Yep, now I'm on the third one. That one's highlighted. You can't skip these, by the way. Like, it seriously won't let me skip them. Like, I can't go down here and hit continue. I have to wait literally until it, it went through all these videos telling you how to use it, stuff like that. 
Still can't do anything. Man, this kind of sucks. I wish he had skipped this. This is taking forever. There we go. So my son, he skipped it. Uh, knowledge it. Okay, now we're in. So basically, your headset is updating. Explore while you're waiting. Would you like to notify when your headset is ready? Yes, I would. Allow notifications. Now it's pairing the headset. It says pairing your Oculus Go. It's at 22%. I'm guessing that's the update right there. If you can see that, 22%. So basically, throughout the app, you can basically do just about anything. Like a lot of the things cost money. Obviously, the more nice the app is, obviously it's going to cost money stuff like that but I mean they have a ton of free stuff like obviously like Netflix is down here like you'll see purchase before because obviously I've had Oculus Go before because I downloaded um, I've downloaded the app before on my Samsung phone so obviously it's gonna say purchase and some of that stuff is already gonna be on here which will probably be preloaded onto here hopefully but I mean they have a lot of, of free apps that you can download which is really cool I mean, obviously, the more expensive, funner games are going to cost money, obviously. I'm going to say take more time and effort to put in, stuff like that. So, there's that. We can keep going. You have on sale, new releases, 360 experience, multiplayer, and social. So, what's really cool about what the Oculus can do is you can play with other people that have the Oculus. Like, you don't have to be in the same house you don't have to be within 30 feet with bluetooth like you can play at your house and one of your buddies can play at his house and you guys can play together on the games that have multiplayer capabilities and stuff like that one thing that i've seen is like your characters aren't like really like the best things it's kind of weird you can do a little bit of customization i don't think you can do a lot to where it looks like you but i think a like just enough to be like, yeah, you're a female or you're a male. Maybe change your hair color, maybe your eye color. But other than that, I don't think you can change much more than that. Like, I don't think you can change your clothes or anything like that that I know of. I mean, obviously, it's been out for a little bit, so you can probably change a little bit now. But I need, I'd need i have to explore that a little bit more to let you guys know what exactly is going on. So that's the store. There's plenty of stuff on here. Like, it's ridiculous. Now, we have the events. I'm guessing this is like all stuff that is being featured in VR that you can do, you can watch. And I guess I'm going to get notifications if I push, if I'm interested in it, or whatever it may be. Ooh, you can watch the, the game in VR. I wonder if that costs money or whatever you have to do. Let's see. I'm guessing that's June 6th I can do that. I don't know. I'm going to put interested. I'll let you guys know what that really means. I'm a huge baseball fan, by the way, so if any of you guys like baseball, definitely give me a shout out of what team you really like. If I had to pick my favorite team, like I like all the teams, there's not one team that I really hate, but probably one of my favorite teams because I live in the Cincinnati is obviously the Reds, even though we're having a rough year this year if you're watching this in uh 2018, it's not the best year, but like I usually just follow like certain players, stuff like that. Like one of the biggest players that I follow is probably Bryce Harper, Yadier Molina, um, like Judge and Stan, just because they hit bombs and it's unbelievable to watch them play and see how far they can hit a ball. Then obviously there's other more like Robinson Cano, like just like the top baseball players. I'm not too familiar with any of the like the players that are coming up and stuff like that. I don't follow it that soup that closely that I can tell you all that type of stuff, but I usually do follow baseball pretty good. But this just keeps going through just events. Each day it tells you what time it starts and stuff like that. Then you got your friends list so you can add people. Then you got your settings. So obviously that's me. That's my email, by the way, <laughs> if any of you guys care. Um, it's telling me uh, what battery I'm at and that I'm connected. Um, you, I guess you can pair another headset if you wanted to for some reason. I don't know why you would want to. Uh, you can link account. You can link your camera roll. Camera roll. Uh, you can change your password, reset pin, um, notifications, obviously your payment things and what version you're on. Then you, you can sign out. 
Then up here you have the bell, which I guess is just notifications you'll get with like certain games that you download. Like, oh hey, there's an update for this game. Would you like to do it now? Stuff like that. Then obviously you can search through here. But like, there's a lot that goes on here. I might have to buy some of these uh, paid games and test them out because when I had the Gear VR, I didn't have like any of the the paid apps like I didn't buy anything because I was new to VR and I knew it wasn't really that popular and stuff like that but I'll, I'll have to let you guys know then obviously I'll let you guys know how much memory these things really take up because I know you can click on something like one of these apps so let's say I clicked on this rush app or whatever it's basically a ski or skydiving thing which is pretty cool it's like an actual game and you can control it and stuff like that but down here it says it takes up 366 megabytes, 366 megabytes. I have a feeling it takes probably closer to one gigabyte just because it's an $8 game and the graphics for for being VR are really not that bad. Obviously, they're not going to be something like high tech like the PlayStation VR or anything stupid like that. But I mean they're they're good enough that like you'll be able to know exactly what's going on and what you're actually really seeing and stuff like that but I mean it's pretty interesting so I got a new notification if you guys were reading that or not while I was talking but it says headset is rebooting please wait a few minutes so obviously it did all its updates stuff like that um headphone wise I know you can use any headphones. I believe it has to be plugged into the headset. You can't Bluetooth headphones to the headset. If you're curious about about doing that, I don't I don't remember reading anything or seeing anyone Bluetoothing headphones to the actual headset. Like I think they have to be plugged in. So obviously, if you have the iPhone 10 or 8, obviously there's or 7, you're not gonna have the headphone jack. Ooh, it's making noise now. But like you're gonna have to carry another set of headphones with you or whatever to connect to this to um, go through everything. But basically that's what it is, that's what the app is. There's plenty of stuff in here, events, friends, stuff like that. But uh, let's see what it says. Unplug your headset, grab your controller, and put your headset on now. Welcome to VR. I guess it's completely ready. Um, there you go guys, that's basically how you set it up, that's how you go through everything, that's what the app looks like once you get it all set up, stuff like that, but I'll let you guys know on other videos that I'm about to make, I'll probably make a video on like how much memory it really takes up, how many apps I have, if like the actual app on my phone is taking up more memory than what, um, what is going on, like if it's taking up actual storage on my phone, or if it's putting it all onto the headset, which I believe it should put it all on the headset, but I imagine the app's going to take up some more memory, probably, I imagine it would, I could be wrong, I hopefully I am wrong, it doesn't take up any memory on the phone, but we'll see, then I'll let you know on battery life on this thing, I was told it gets about two and a half hours, depending on what you're doing, maybe up to three if you're lucky, depending on how you use it. But I'll definitely let you guys know on everything and I'll try to keep videos coming out for this thing as fast as possible and as soon as possible so you guys know more about it. Because honestly, this thing is great. I had the, the Gear VR, like I said, and I loved it. But this thing is just better, more picture quality. I mean, I should probably say better picture quality, stuff like that. A lot nicer, it actually comes with the remote. Like I used a little touchpad on the little side as the remote, which sucked when you just wanted a handheld thing because it'd be easier. But... Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Put, ask questions on the comments. I'll answer, I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. But thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Peace, guys.